All right, so we got a good episode for you. We kind of came back home to our first garden. One thing we're looking for is just to, I don't know, kind of look back. This is an idea that we had with our mint. This has all, all the mint, this was one and it's, plant. Yeah, it was just one plant and it just takes over. Who wants some? Uh -oh. So it grows like a wow. Everybody knows that it's everywhere in here. But look at this pomegranate. And I mean, if, if we can get, at least we've never gotten any of these to, to actually fruit. This is the first time I've seen this many. So today's episode, what we're looking at is this. This is what they call air layer. And I'll show you on a fig tree. I came today. I'm going to show you, you guys this. I did a little bit. Took a little bit off of that. Can you see that? Can anybody see that right there? Right there. Good roots, I would say. What you think? Think that's good enough to come off? We hope so. You want to get another look? See if they got more in there? Ooh. Oh yeah. It's ready. Look at that. So we about to take that off. We got some more aluminum for them. We'll wrap that against it while doing that. And what? Uh, you want to do the honors? No. <laughs> First, let me show them how we did it. I'll find another. Uh, let's. You gotta find one of these younger uh, vines. Something that looks like this. Not. No, that's a little woody. Uh, something that's not too woody, but it's growing. So, uh, like this, you see how, how it's not as, it's still kind of green. And yeah, maybe we might have to come over here since it's kind of going out that way. We'll come right here on this one. And I'll show you exactly how we did it. How we grafted it, or not grafted, but air layered. And hopefully we can get us some more fig trees out of this thing. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna choose this. And what you wanna do is you wanna cut it off, cut your, uh, the outside layer uh, of this, of the bark off. And they, they call it the cambium, you wanna expose. So right here, and you see that juice coming out of there? That's what you want, that's how you know it. I, I did this at the beginning of spring. And they say it's best to do it in the springtime or in the growing season. That way, everything is growing and it's trying to send that nutrients up to these tips. All right, so you go there and right under there. And this is just like a little box cutter at the store. I'm sure there's other things that you can use. So you want to just cut just that outside layer off and then uh, if you can see that, I'm going to put, bring it down. And then you just get your one little swipe down, that'll be it. And pretty much you peel that off, like so. This is real easy. I think if anyone want to start uh, doing the air layering, start with a fig. I think it's more, e I think it's easier, more hardy. All right. So you got that exposed. And all I did was, I kind of came and I watered. For the first week, I stopped by over here like every other day and I watered. So get you a nice bit of foil. And get you some peat moss. And we're still working with that same peat moss that we had already. You know we've been having this, what, two years now? So. We're still working with the same peat moss. And it's already wet. 
And this is what's gonna let the roots to grow. And basically, and, and I think it's good. See how I got this close to this little thing? You have something for your aluminum foil to sit on so it don't kind of roll down on you. So, so this is gonna be the tree here. All right, it's already growing figs. So this is how you see those trees that be at the nurseries, those small trees that already have figs on them. Now, for this one, I didn't put anything on it. No rooting hormone or anything. Just some good wet peat moss. And, and you want to start wrapping it around there. At the bottom is the most important thing to start with because that's what's going to sit and hold. And then you just go ahead on and keep wrapping. And that's good and wet already. And that peat moss is gonna stay moist. That's the good thing about using it. So I'm gonna get one more. A lot of people use like plastic and things like that. I think if you try, so maybe in the summertime, you may need to use the plastic. But we started early spring. So it's cooler and it rains a lot. So you already, I mean, if you forget to water, you may be okay. Same thing again, I'm just gonna make sure it's good and wrapped where it's not exposed. Cause the roots wanna be underground. So we wanna simulate that the roots are underground. And you saw the little green part that I had exposed. The roots are gonna shoot out from there. All right. So today what we came to do is, we're gonna cut this off. Expose the roots on this one. I'm going to go ahead and give it one more wrap before we cut it. And I just wanted y'all to see it. Now this isn't saying that this is going to make it. I wouldn't think, but I would think it's darn sure close. Being that it's done everything that I think that, that it's supposed to do. And you could also see new shoots coming out. So that's a good thing. But this tree is still on the main plant so that might be where some of the energy is coming from uh it's a nice size fig tree but hopefully we're gonna get this cut today and we'll go home and we'll get it put up in a pot uh put a little fishy motion and things like that in it and hopefully it stays with us so this may be the beginning of something beautiful here we go uh, get out of my way little leaf can you see me I'm going to cut it way down here. And all I'm going to do is support the plant with one hand and cut with the other. And look at that. Now that's a beautiful fig tree. Look at all those little figs. Now these little figs probably won't make it. We may even do better by taking them off and just letting the leaves do that thing. Uh, some people say the leaves may take up too much energy so they would take some of them off. But I think as for now, I think we can leave all the leaves on, maybe take off almost all of the figs, but we'll get it in the pot tonight. What you think, looks good? Yep. All right, let's go check out that pomegranate because I did the same thing, the same exact uh, process to our pomegranate tree Oh, they die fast uh, or just for no reason pomegranates tend to die and we had one that died anyway and we had two here uh, so instead of buying a pomegranate tree I tried to do the air layering so let's see if that's gonna work out as we're taking it off look at the roots coming out of that thing see. beautiful so I don't know if maybe, oh, look at that. I think that's ready to come off. I don't know. I don't know if it's ready to come off. Oh, you want to, oh. it's ready to stay for a while. Mm -hmm. What you think, Beth? You think it's ready to come off? Huh? I'm not no tree expert, but I, maybe we should get a try. I don't know. Yeah. Or we can just leave it for at least. We got it, man. You might as well take her, what you say? 
take her and then if we don't work, we'll try another one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess we can. Yeah. All right, so y'all getting a two for one, right? We wasn't gonna take this pomegranate tree, but I guess we'll go ahead and take it. So give me a second, let me get the cutters, and we'll cut this one off as well. One second. We wanna cut it at an angle. That way it won't get the rot and things like that. So I'm gonna come in, come at an angle, and we can always clean up this at the house. Just a good chop down. <laughs> wow. Now that may have been a too big of a piece to do. But we don't know, and we'll, what we'll do is we'll go in and get this put in some soil. And hopefully, we got our, we on this, we right by our main road. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully this soil takes and these roots take. We'll clean all this up, take this up, and cut it all the way to here. It may be too late for us to show you when we get home, because we're not gonna waste time uh, planting this, or we might be able to get some light outside or something to show you. But that's what we're going to do. We actually thought that the audio was on. So this was my fault. Uh, <laughs> so I thought I was talking. But I'll just talk with y'all kind of like what, what I was talking about. Uh, at this point, we had left the house. And on the way home, we stopped by Walmart. And I ended up getting this uh, miracle Grow Moisture Control Potted Mix. And, and the reason I got this was because it says protect against over and under watering. I know that's a main concern when you're, when you're air layering, is that if you overwater it, you could kill it, and if you underwater it, you could kill it. So that was one of the reasons why I went with that powder mix. And it was late at night, kind of getting dark, so I couldn't really stand out there and read through all the bags. So I grabbed that one. I've actually put the soil in, in three other and two other pots so I'm just showing y'all the last pot uh, that I'm doing actually just and what we're doing is we're just going to pot it up uh, put the I'm putting the holes in and I'll, I'll talk with y'all about that as far as how we plant them it's kind of just like planting a regular pot but we don't want to disturb the roots and you don't want to touch the roots uh, at least that's what they tell us so you just want to uh, fill it up to a good level, but leave some space. Uh, I actually learned that from Organic's Best, Urban Gardener, uh, that you want to leave some space at the top of your container. So when you fill it up with water, uh, you have some space for that water to pool, and then you just let it it'll drain down on its own. So, so here's the big reveal. Uh, this is We cut two fig cuttings, and... Uh, one pomegranate cut it so the one that I showed you we left it over there so I think we still got two over there that we can go and cut within a few months if these don't make it uh, the pomegranate I didn't do any new uh, air layer on those though I maybe should have or I might go back over there and do it uh, but but once again I didn't use any rooted hormone or anything just some wet peat moss that we had and pretty much you can see how it was smashed, how I smashed it around that uh, cambium layer. And basically, this is like a month of growth. So, so that gives you an idea of, of how much time it takes for that amount of uh, roots to grow out. Now maybe, I've seen somebody, uh, some people have done the plastic cup, uh, like the clear plastic cup. And I do like that method and I want to try that. Uh, because I think that'll help you to be able to see a little bit better. But but I, I like this uh, method as well because it's the easiest. Just some aluminum foil and peat moss and wrap it around your, your limb after you cut it. Okay, so right now I'm just showing you the hole I made. And that's how you just make a hole and kind of just drop it down in there uh, at whatever level that peat moss soil is at. Okay, you try to keep it at that level. If you put it a little too low, then you just drop a little bit of soil in there and then you pick it up. Uh, when, when I'm doing this now, we actually did take the leaves off for maybe about a day or two, but that plant was suffering. Uh, if 
by keeping those leaves on. So I, I got on YouTube a little bit more and looked at some uh, channels that were doing air layering. And I saw that mostly everybody took mostly all of their leaves off except for like one or two. So I decided to do the same thing. I think it was a smart move because it's looking better today than it was when I left it on. So this is the first limb that I did the air layer on. So look at this root growth here. So and I'm thinking if I would have left that maybe another week, it, it, it could only get better, right? So I think this is a beautiful thing to let y'all see that, to see how, you know, in the light, in the good camera lighting, uh, Beverly's holding for me. It's dipping away. Look how focused I am. <laughs> so, uh, oh, I'm hoping to, to be able to start doing things like this. This is what I really want to get into, like, uh, from losing. We lost, like, about, I think, about 10 or 12 or 13, something like that. Crazy uh, number of citrus trees. I don't even like to think about it. Uh, so, I want to get into the grafting aspect and the air layering aspect of of growing fruit trees because they're so costly to buy especially to lose where if I can find some friends that have trees if I can perfect the grafting and the air layering I'm sure that I could get someone to let me use their trees in order to grow my own trees so we had a little voice issue with those I didn't have the microphone on so that's my bad, but I'll do a voiceover for you guys. Uh, kind of what I was talking about. Uh, kind of what I was showing you guys. So that way you can be kind of up to speed. Uh, but now that I'm back in action, let's do this one the right way. We got that pomegranate coming up last. Same thing. So I got Beverly here. That's the hand you saw coming in. She was talking a little. Okay, so I can take that off. Let's let the pomegranate do all the talking. Let me see. Now this one did have a lot of ants, if you remember when we uh, were taking it out. So we're probably still gonna have that ant issue inside here. Remember we had all the ants out there? Mm -hmm. So I'm being careful tearing it away. Yeah, and, and maybe we could have left this one for another week, but maybe not. Another week, two weeks. It's still good. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut it down here, and that's going to cut this off, and then we'll plant it. I didn't want to do that. Oh, I didn't want to do that. It's because this part is I'm not coming one. off. Uh, I didn't want to do that. All right. Oh my goodness. All right. I didn't want to do that at all. But let's hope for the best. Uh, I really want to take those uh, small cutters. You see my small cutters? No, probably in your pocket. Yeah, right. that's good. Let's get her in there. Nice and set down. 
then we're gonna fill her in. I wanted, I wanted to take these roots off, I mean these uh, branches off here, which I'll do before I water it in. So, and it's a taller plant, so I think I'm going to have to get something to stake this one at least to hold it in place. Uh, to keep it from doing what it wants to do. It wants to fall back because it's so top heavy. Uh, the rest of them are still good. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to bring you an update. So now, once that you've actually potted them, the last step would be to go ahead and defoliate the leaves because the roots are not strong enough now to handle all of those leaves that were on there. Uh, we didn't do that at first and they were really suffering. But now that we've actually taken most of the leaves off of both the fig and the pomegranate and we've took it, taken all of the fruit off. If you have any fruit on, take all of the fruit off as well. See ya. God bless.